Hey, hello everybody. Uh, this is Lance. My name is Lance. Thanks for checking in, tuning in, putting, pushing play, whatever. And uh, today I'm going to do a oil painting with acrylic backing on it. So this is just gesso and you can use this gesso. You can get it anywhere. Acrylic gesso and that's just a, it dries fast. I put it on last night and I'm trying to, these are supposed to be trees and some stuff and we'll kind of come in. I sketched in a little cabin. So I like cabins and I just had one recently sold at a studio I'm in. And so maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I can sell that one. Um, or if not, it'll be a good learning lesson and, and enjoyable to watch. So, uh, but yeah, I put the gesso on and then underneath it, I put some liquid so it's all slick. It won't affect the value because it's clear. And we're gonna come in and get started. I'm gonna move the camera for everybody and we'll have a good time. Okay, get her up here. There, that looks good, huh? I don't see a lot of glare, but when you play it with black gesso like this, you'll get glare. I move my lights around all the time, uh, but sometimes it still doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of Indian yellow on this. I'm just tapping it in. The reason I'm using Indian yellow is because it's transparent, so it's not gonna cover the black. So let's go right in here. See that? So it's still, little trick here, it still it looks black. Okay, start down here. And you can come down below there because it isn't going to kill the black. Maybe a little bit over here. Okay, some little things there. And then over here. And blend it up. See, I should have started up a little and went down. But yeah. Now if we put white in here, it's gonna, we're gonna leave it, these colors really saturated. I'm not gonna add any, anything to them, but. So there you got a little yellow and that kind of, with transparent colors, you can, the black still looks black. So it's a little trick you can do. It's kind of cool actually. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of, I'm not gonna clean the brush and I just want a little paint on there. I'm just gonna take some crimson, okay? We could put some yellow ochre in there too, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just gonna put some crimson. I'm gonna come above it and just kind of go back and forth. This, is gonna, this should have some good colors, at least. Over here, see, the corners. That's pretty red, but if we blend it a little bit, that looks good. One side to side, looks streaky, like we've got some, get a little more of that crimson. This looks like it's got a little, it doesn't need to be super. There. And we'll kind of do that. We'll bring it up. You can bring that crimson up as high as you want because when we come in with the next color, it's going to eat it up. This looks a little brown now, doesn't it? Down there. there. Okay. Well, that looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool, actually. I like that. Okay, we'll grab some. I got Prussian blue left. Here's my palette from earlier. I'm working on a few. And you just do that, and you tap it. You don't want a ton of paint on there. They streak. Okay, and then here's my other one. <laughs> so when I'm done today, I'll probably clean up a little bit better. And then on this one, I want to start up top in the corner. Just test your color if you like it. It's dark. Just want to put a little bit on, okay? Just kind of come back and forth and see Prussian blue, phthalo blue, they're all transparent colors. I'm going to bring it down a little. And when the blue mixes with the crimson, you'll get kind of a lavender color. It's a good sky color. There. See? That looks pretty good. I like it. It almost looks like a sort of a sun, sunrise, sunset. They kind of look alike. They have a little bit different. Just you can call it whatever you want. There. So, let's see here. Oh boy, let's see. I got these new big brushes. So I'm going to try my new... I got these ones off of uh, Amazon. Seeker, Seeker's Cove. I don't know. Don't worry. I don't, uh, they don't pay me, but it does seems like a really good brush for a good price. So we're going to come right in here and just start blending. The more you blend, the more it'll pull the paint off. And remember the canvas is white under there. So that will give you, see, just like that. Pretty easy. And then work your way up. Okay. And you don't have to, these streaks and stuff, you don't have to, you can leave them in there. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? There. 
there's your sky and that took about five minutes and it looks pretty good it, it, it's got some good color in it very very good I like that if you want I'll show you a little trick you can do got a little white on my finger okay now that's opaque so it's gonna opaque color is gonna blend out these trees a little bit but ooh. Yeah, that white is opaque. I'll just put some in there. So we want to kind of a, if you do it this way, you'll have a nice highlight area in there. And that'll work good. And I got this other brush I was going to use. And I'm just going to come in here and lightly blend right in here just to lighten it up. And that light will kind of kill some of the trees, but we'll come back in. And see, you can kind of just blend it out. See, see the opaque color, what it does? We want that to be a little lighter and we'll just pull it all the way out, okay? Just like that. So that makes it a little brighter there. Very bright. And then doesn't really do much for Jesus. You can come back in and see. Pull that off. You don't want it. Kind of helps though, because you're gonna have some, you know, it almost brings that light into the trees automatically for you. So if we don't want to you want that on there. See? Come here. See? Get those little edges. Shining through, maybe a little bit right there. We'll leave it like that. I'm gonna try to get this one done quickly. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the foreground, but there is a very, very, very nice start, I, I would think. And I'm just taking a little coffee. Okay, now we're gonna work on these trees and we're gonna put some color on them. And I'm gonna grab the same brush, just an oil brush. This is what I use to put them in with acrylic. And I'm gonna use this same one and put some indications in the trees. First thing I'm gonna do is get a knife. And I got some colors here, some browns that I've saved up. Get a little white in there. Where's my white? Get a little of that white there. There. And I'm just gonna kind of put some, some black in there. All I'm doing is gonna put some trunks in here, okay? So I'm just mixing up some color. Just go across, get a little bit on a knife. And we can come in here and just come in and just touch, you know, like that. And these, some of these might be covered up. You know, maybe a little one going off to the side there. Let me grab a little more paint from over here. A little bit there. Just touch them. Maybe a little. St one going that way, a little something under here, you know. I'm trying not to do that anymore, so I'll, I'll apologize. <laughs> Touch that one there. And you can put some other stuff in here. Maybe there's some other things that are going in there. Move that one to there. So this one's in front of me, okay? A little more of that. I like that. I like that. Uh, I'm going that way. There. Just touch and get them indications. Some of these will be covered up, no big deal. Pull them down. See, you're just touching. There, so you got some, you know, some trunks in there. Okay, I'm gonna take this other brush and I'm gonna get our green going. So I'm gonna come over. I'm working off camera too, so I'm gonna get some black, that green, get some yellow in there. Okay, I like that color. Okay, got it pretty dark. Okay, way darker than I was hoping. That's okay. I'm gonna grab some of this wire green. Throw it in there. There. And I'm just trying to make a, you gotta have a lot of paint when you're doing trees. So, and we'll just kind of come in and dirty that up. Maybe get a little crimson in there. See that? I'm just pulling it down. Okay, that color kind of looks earthy. You get that in there, it looks like a good tree green. And we're gonna come up like this and push up, okay? I'm not gonna put any white in it. I don't think we'll need it. I think it'll stand out. Plus it's kind of silhouetted, but we gotta have a little fun. Let's start down here and over here and just kind of come up and push. There, push there, push there. And just think of where the 
you know, where the indications are and where the tree's, you know, protruding out and where the, you know, see, I'm just pushing up. There, push up. Push up. Get a lot of paint on the brush. There. Maybe there's one there, there. Just kind of come in and knock some color in there. Okay, I like that. There's white in there too. I'm gonna have to grab some more paint maybe, but come here, maybe there's one there, see? Just kind of throw them in. I'm kind of trying to keep my cabin under and just and come up here. See, there you can do it. Not too much on that one because there's a little sun shining through, right? You can push it there. Maybe do this here. When you're gonna do these, you push straight up. Okay, ready, see? There. Come over here, work on some more of these. Yeah, a little bit on this side. There, over here. Some of these are, you know, I, I'm, I've got, I should have some more paint, but I think I can get away with it. There. Darker, darker. There's one sticking there. There, and then down here, we just kind of push up. Gives us a little, see? So easy, there. And I'm just kind of pushing up, gives you some grassy looking things. And you got some stuff back there. You might, we might want to come in and, and change that a little bit. So it doesn't look like the cabin's in a bunch of, a big guy. Uh, um, in high grass, huh? <laughs> Take some of this. Let's get this cabin going. And I'm gonna come in and just start pulling in some color. It's probably gonna be silhouetted, but that's okay. This is just, I'll darken that up a little bit. There, there we go, gray it. Comes over to there, maybe, comes down. We're just putting color in. Okay, there's some black in there, it's a little light. Red, maybe. Ooh, that's a better color. See that? Coming down. And I kind of sketched it in so it would be easier to, to, to do. And, we can, and when you're doing these cabins, it's nice not to have too much. That should go that way, and that one should go that way. This, uh, I think it's called a three-quarter view. There. So there's the front of the cabin. Can you see that? It looks all right. Okay. And uh, when you do that, you do get a lot of paint on there, which is all right. But I'm going to try something here. Watch this. I'll come in. Because there is, I didn't want to put as, that clear, I didn't put as much in there. But let's see. See this? I'm just going to come in and try to stay in the lines. And I'm just going to pull some of it off. Tapping. That way. See? That way the next one will go on easier. Throw that away. How are we looking here? Okay. Not bad. And you can also, you know, on some of these, you can, in these trees, you can come in and do like here, you can go, you know, at the bottoms, you can kind of flatten them out a little bit, you know, give them some good looking, some, some, yeah, give them some character. And sometimes if you want, you can come this way too. If you want to, you don't have to push up. It can be whatever. But don't kill all the dark or your trees will look flat. You can come back in and add dark if you want, but no reason to if you already have it in there. So there's that, okay? I like that. So let's get back into our cabin here. Where's my little brush agent? Okay, and let's see. Let's get some of this uh, yellow ochre. Some burnt sienna, yellow ochre. Grab a little white. Okay, and obviously this is going to be the lighter side, right? Come in and pull that down. Kind of come in, grab that yellow ochre. Maybe a little white to it. There we go, that's better. Just pulling down, oops, we can fix that though. This is just a little, there. And that's gonna be the light side, right? Oh yes, you know what else looks good on these? And I didn't load it up. Orange looks good on cabins, a little weathery looking. We've got some orange here. Or vermilion. Let's see, let's try some vermilion. 
Let's put that right over here. Yeah, right here will be good. Pull vermilion in there. It's very light. Vermilion's very reddish, orangey, bright. I don't know what the heck you'd call it, but it looks, it's a good color. Grab all of that and mix it in there. Yeah, see? that kind of it mixes with them other colors and looks pretty good there on that side and then on the back side we'll make it darker I still got a little red in there there I like that and we can come in and add some little details in a little bit here but you okay all right wipe that off I like that and I can use the I can come in and use my knife too at some point in time if I want, and that might work. So I'll come in and kind of figure out which way the it's going to go. And then we got to put a roof on, right? Take that vermilion, some brown, come in here and find out where that roof is. So I'll just pull it this way. That looks good. Comes over and then down, right? There, pull it right up to there. Okay, and then over here. Comes over that way. Put it in there. If you get it too messed up, you can come back in and and uh, I have another brush I can use or another one I can use here. I'll grab. I just need to wipe it off because it's got a bunch of other color on it. Okay, come in here. Grab some more of that vermilion. That's a good color. That vermilion looks good. Okay, then we'll come back over here and fine tune it a little bit. Brush has got a little more control. Bring it there. Over here. Okay, a little bit comes under. And then when you're doing that, we got to have a little shadow. So I'm going to take some black over here. We're just going to pull this over. That'll pull the. See that? Pull the black. Like I said, we're getting some paint on here. So see, pull that over. Gives you a little underhang on your little cabin there makes them look pretty good okay come back over get some more of that color we used for the front of the cabin and we can kind of fix it a little bit he's going to come this way and then down darken that a little bit oh that looks pretty good doesn't it nice and soft i want to get a little brown and do this or dark hopefully i'm not getting my head in the way there How's that? Okay, these cabins are easy to do, but sometimes they can be a little tricky when you're... There, does that look better? Does that kind of look like a cabin? All right, it can be tricky when you're trying to do a, a painting and uh, as fast as you can, so. Okay, all right, let's see here. So, the cabin looks pretty good. We're gonna have to grab this one. And I'm just going to grab some of that vermilion, get it on there. I'm going to come down and just touch up here, just kind of touch. Oh, that's light. Get some, get some, need some, darken that up a little bit. There, that's what I want. Darken it up a little bit. Just kind of come in and touch. Just kind of touch that. You can pull it down. See? Just give a little... Got all different colors in there. That's okay. There. Get that off. Get a little more. Just kind of come in and pull that up if you need to. You can do a lot with the brush. A little more brown in there. Where's my brown? Do I have any over here? I want to get some, darken it up a little bit. There we go. That'll look good. There. Too light. Pull that up maybe. There we go. Just kind of come in and do a little. You can go down the edge too. Sometimes it makes it easier. And then come over here. Just kind of go blip, 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 blip. And get that top on there. I'm going to darken it a little more. Although it does stand out good there, doesn't it? There we go. Okay. A little dark on these corners. Ooh, that looks good. There. How's that? 
It doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah. And then over here, you can take that dark and you can pull it down because there's always a little shadow under there, right? And I just kind of do that. It gives it a little more character. We can come in and if you want to pull it down. There. You can take this one and do the same thing. A little more control. Got to know where that edge is, though, on the cabin, okay? And then we can come in and do some of these, you know, just... See? And see, you can pull down because there's nothing below it, so it makes it easy doing it this way. Okay? Yeah, if you're in Cutbank, Montana, go by the market on the main, owned by Rod and Lisa Klein. Nice store. There's all kinds of good Montana made stuff in there. Beef, hats, uh, a lot of, there's an art gallery in there. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good, uh, pretty awesome place. Okay, let's get a little dark in here too, under here, okay? Just touching and giving it a little there. Okay, and then I'll come in and we'll do the old door right here. Just go side to side, make a little door. It doesn't have to be perfect. This cabin's old. There. So you got a little front door there. Oops, sorry. And then over here, you can pull a few of these little ones down. Um, maybe we'll put them this way. That's not good. Watch. Sorry for my hand. What? And there. See? And that's all you need. Okay? Good little cabin. Okay. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, let's get back into our, I need a fan brush. And so I'm gonna take a fan brush and come back in here. And I'm gonna grab some of this and just kind of tap, okay? Because we wanna have some, don't kill all the dark, but see what I'm doing? I'm just gonna bring some grass in. When you're an oil painter, if you know how to do grass, it's the easiest thing there is. See, bring it down. And over here, maybe there's some trees back in there. Come back up here. Just follow your cabin. Come back in there and just, but don't kill all the dark, okay? It won't have any depth to it, see? And you don't have to worry because your, your, uh, your, um, you don't have to put as much paint on is what I'm trying to say because the black's on there. And see how it stands out? And this is a pretty good base. This is a nice little, and it's dark, you know, it is a silhouette. It should be a silhouette. You focus on your land here, which way you want to go with your land. It should be a silhouette, but, you know, we, we got to put some color in the trees, so. There we go. And I'm just, I'm going to have to probably load up some more paint here in a minute, but. I'm just throwing in, see? Barely using any paint. And we can put some highlights and stuff. Darker as you get to the bottom, right? You want to keep it darker down here. We can add some dark, but we can keep it dark by putting some highlights on it, right? There, that looks good. And I think what else I want to do on this one is so much grass in here. Let's grab some, some, some of this, some white. Take some Van Dyke brown. Where's my brown at? Let me get some more brown. I don't know if I'm using Van Dyke or um, what's the other one I use? It's a raw umber. Again, that's why I never knock these out in time. Wronger, that's what I'm gonna use. Put that over here. It's a good dark brown. I think I just used too much. And let's do that. Let's mix that with some that color. Put a little light in there, not much, but I want to make something that stands out over here. That's got some. I'm gonna put some land in here. Maybe, maybe there's some land and a path. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe there's just. Up in here, you can do this. Just, just come in and start putting in some some land, just to give it a little different. See, just pull it, give it the lay of the land a little bit. Maybe I'm always doing, you know, just little so much grass and things that you can put this in. And put the grass in between it too, okay? So something like that, see? This kind of gives you some 
Or maybe we'll put a horse pasture in there or something. There, pull it in. Maybe there's a little trail that comes down around the front here. Cabin. Comes down. There. I don't know. Kind of goes up into there. It doesn't have to go all the way up into the trees, but it kind of gives you a little something different to look at. Maybe there's a little, you know, this might come down here. See? And let's see. That looks pretty good. There, put a little pressure on there. We'll highlight this too. You know, kind of just a little dirt back there and you know, a little field maybe. And over here we'll just leave it grassy. Or maybe up in here we can get a little leave that like it is. I like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. That, the, you can see that uh, that uh, burnt sienna is such a good color. It's kind of coming out of there and, and having some fun. So let's try this. Okay, still going. Okay. There. What do you think? Should we, I was just thinking of something and we might be able to come in and, and throw in some water, maybe. Put a little pond in there. So I'm gonna grab, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use, I can't use that color, but we can scrape. Maybe we got a little sluey pond looking thing. So we're gonna come in here, pull down. I didn't think I was gonna do this. So I'm just gonna pull down, okay. Change my mind. Put a little water and hole in there. Grab some of that uh, Prussian blue that I have. This is gonna be cool. See that? Just getting some Prussian blue on there. If it's dark, maybe I'll add a little bit of this other stuff. See? We're gonna make this painting a little vibrant, okay? We're just gonna come and pull down, okay? And this is going to make us a little water. Pretty simple, pull it down. And maybe it comes not all the way to there. There, so you got a little water in there. See how simple that is? And it kind of, if you mix the mess, I gotta see my grandma in a bit, so I'm trying to hurry. Sorry. Wait, where's the colors? I want it down. See these little other blues kind of, look at this one, watch this. Not too much. See that? Pull straight down too. Because otherwise it won't look like water. And this is definitely just a a little pond. It's not a, a large, it's not a, let's see here. I have a clean brush, which I can use this one. This is the one I used to blend, but I can come back in. Um, this is a, uh, maybe there's some reflections. See when color stands out like that, pull straight down. There, see, that kind of looks cool. And I wasn't gonna do that, folks. See, this is a fun thing. When you're not looking at a picture, you can do whatever you want. And now that looks like a pretty good little glare. I could probably get a little yellow in there, right in here, because it obviously should have a little yellow. Um, let's see. It's kind of, it can be, uh, it can be, um, uh, you can mess it up <laughs> pretty fast, but let's try it anyway. Where's that yellow little crap? I'm gonna use regular yellow, just a little bit. And it might give a little green, but that's okay. Right here. Let's come in here, let's try that. I could mess it up. Let me get a little more yellow. Okay, oh, there it is, yeah. I'm just gonna grab some of my um, Indian yellow again. Come in here. There, pull a little bit of it right there. That looks good, and you gotta mix a little white in there. Ooh, there, see that? Right, not much. There, we'll do that and then come back in with this brush, okay? This is my new one. This is the one inch brush I got. And I got a two inch too. Pull those down, see? Straight down, light. You can pull a little of that top in there. 
that pulled in there a little bit. There, so now it kind of looks a little better. Oof, it's bright, isn't it? Then we'll take this and go across lightly. Don't go too much or you'll, that'll just give a little sheen. There, how's that look? I, I'll step back and take a look here. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, all right, let's continue on. How far, I'm trying to get this one done faster. 30 minutes, I think I can break a record today. I don't know how Bob Ross painted so much. I'm gonna take some brown, some of this dark. He did good, I don't know how he painted so fast. As, okay, then we just come in here and make some little, ah, a little bit there, just some little edges here, okay? And so maybe pull that down a little bit and we'll go over there. Just got a nice little build up of paint on there. And we can put it right there, maybe the little thing comes that way. Give me some more dark. Here, come up here and just tap, put that in there. See, I just want to get some really dark under there so it makes it pop there. There, see that? Kind of gives you an idea where the edge is without doing too much there. See that? There's a lot of paint on there. You can come in and add some little things in there because there kind of gives you a little. I like that. Okay, very good, very good. And then over here, you can kind of come in and put some little dark in there. Okay, I don't know if I want to put anything in there as far as there. Come back in. Is that path looks good? Look a little dark in there, here and there. Okay, it comes out a little more. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah, that water looks all right. Okay, let's come back in, back in. Where's my sand brush I was using, my dark one? And we got to come back down here. Get some dark below it. I'm gonna have to get some more color. And maybe it just comes like this. See? I don't know. Put some black in there. Or you can pull it down this way. We'll come back in and Get this. I don't want to lose all my, you know, color in there, my dark, because we're going to have to come in and put some lighter color in there. Okay, looks good. Now we got to think about um, highlights. Highlights. So I'm going to take and get some, mix this white with this. Oh, yeah, that looks good. With the, oof, that might be too bright. That's okay. We'll throw some. Uh, Throw some green in there. Get some. Okay. I don't want that green. I'm looking for my there it is. Sap green. Maybe even a little brown. Okay. Now we're gonna do some highlights, and I don't want them to be there. I think that looks pretty good. There. Get some brown in there. That's what I want right there. There. Good. Okay, and this is going to be my highlight color. Oof. It might get too bright. Maybe it might not. Let's see, where is that? My fan brush. I guess I'll just use this one. It should work fine. Watch this. Okay, let me get a little red in there too, maybe. There, see that? It's going to be my highlights. And there's going to be some good ones here. So, you know, maybe there's some light coming through. It's going to be darker over here, but just, just take and touch a little bit here and there. You don't want to ruin it, okay? Over here, we'll just come in and pull down. See, I'm just pulling down, taking this and coming down. You can turn it this way. See, just barely touching. Kind of makes it look like there's some grass over there. See, just a little bit, okay? Makes a little pond. And over here, you can kind of do the same thing. Pull down. A little closer, they're farther, so they're, you know, as they get over here, they get up around that pond and towards the cabin, you're not gonna have as, as much, right? And over here, we can just tap. You don't want a lot of paint. You can wipe off a lot of the color and just come in. And just tap, you know, up here, let's see. A little bit over here, see? 
And if it's there, and see these little guys? We're gonna turn these things into some grass in them. See, just some grass in there. Maybe it's some shaley rocks or something. You don't want to kill all your dark though. Because you'll go, you won't have what you want there. Make it a little darker in spots. There we go. A little darker. That's what I want. A little darker. Had to add a little. There, see? Come in there and just put some colors in there. Right? There. How's that look? Looks like a bunch of dirt, shale. I don't know. Let's see here. Come back in here and, you know, just barely touching, you know, putting some things in there. I think that looks pretty good. You can cover up a lot of that too if you want, you know, get some dark and, you know, come in and get a little more vibrant green in a few spots. A little bit of green. This is just a more green. Watch this. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Watch this down here. A little color there. Can you see that? Or is it reflecting? Okay. A little bit. Some of these. Watch this. We can come in here and oh boy, put some highlights up here a little bit if you want. See that? Just gives it a little more. And I'm just using the fan brush, too, because you can. See? Just gives the trees a little more. I think they look a little better that way, huh? Okay, come in here. Grab a little bit. This one. Not too much. Ooh. And then you can kind of... Not all of them. There. Over here, you can add a little... I like that light, though. That's on there. Come and I do this a little bit. Yeah. Here. You know, it just gives them a little, a little more character. And they come down, they flatten out a little. Up here, just add a little something to it. Does that make them look a little more realistic? I like that, yeah. Okay. And remember, you can always add the, and down here we want to keep it dark towards the base, right? I think there's a little here. Don't, you know, Maybe that trail or up there has kind of gone away. Who knows? It's brown. It could be a lot of dirt up in there. No idea. No idea. Just having fun. Okay. And then we've got a nice, uh, nice little cabin, and there's some background there. Let's try some. Leave the water because we can tell. We know what it is. But let's add some brown. Let's add some white over here. Just do some little highlights over here. Okay. The water is going. See that? See that? Get a little highlight here and there. How's that look? There, kind of highlights the water a little bit. There, see that? Kind of lets you see where the there's some stuff going on there. A couple more. Maybe there's a little bit right here. Highlight this a little bit. Not much where that cabin is. Get a little bit there. A little bit more. Because when you're coming out, you want to see the coming out of the cabin, you want to pull that over. There, how's that look? Okay. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. It has some good, 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 good stuff in it. It's and it's easy to do. You know, you've got some of that, you got you know, a little pond, some green. I mean, if you wanted to, honestly, you could come back in and uh, take care of some of this. Darken that back up a little bit. Darken that. Get some black. Where's that? Where's my blue? Where's that at? Oh, right here. Okay. Give me some more blue in there. Come in here and darken this up. See that? Shadowy underneath. There. You can come in and just... That's up. You can do whatever you want. Over here, we can darken this up. Some black in there. See? And what I did is I've got kind of little... There. There, you got that. Kind of 
comes through. Yes, and I, you can take and darken some of that. If you don't like it, right there. See how I'm mushing my brush. I don't want to do that. Okay, kind of give you some colors there, and then we can come back in and then grab some of that green again, and then try to put a little bit back in. There, that looks pretty good, I think. Not too far. Gives a little. See, you can mess around and. Over here, you can come in and just barely touch. See, it's barely coming off, and and we gotta add some more color to it. I thought. Remember the rocks? No. Maybe there's not a path there. I know we just took that out. Who cares? Ooh. Just putting stuff in, giving you some things. You know, some bushes there. Maybe there's a. Actually, let's do this. Put a little tree right here. See that tree right in front of the cabin? It comes over like that. And let's see. Maybe there's another one right here. Maybe put one right here. There, put one there. Just a little tree there. Okay. And these could be a little darker, but that's okay. And you can grab a little dark on them and go. Put a little dark in there. See? Or some blue in there. 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 So now the more you tap, you're gonna get a lot of paint in there. So you, you're gonna you're gonna have some issues. So you gotta kinda watch it and be careful. But you want to darken some stuff up. Gray it, get some black, some blue. Okay. I should get some more black, but crimson, whatever. Get in there. Yeah, kind of gray in the color a little bit, but that's okay. And you got a tree there, and you got some things there. So we got to come back in, grab this, and, and remember when you got, there's black under it, so let's see what it does. See? You can put some little things in here. See? Kind of gives you some indications of stuff. You can do it there. Come back in there. Some things happening over here. Sticks and stuff. Okay, one thing that I gotta do here is give me this one. You gotta come in and kind of bury this trail a little. See? There. See, I gotta get some stuff in there. Let's not gonna. And see, when you do that, it works easy when there's a lot of paint. See how I just smashed it down, kind of pushed that back in there. And then over here, there's gotta be a little bit on this side. There, something like that. And then your little pond just sits right there. Maybe there's a little, maybe there's a little, I'll give you some black and brown, some dark brown. Maybe there's a little pole here. Okay. Give you some dark, dark brown here. Can move it around, put it on, let me see where's that one. Go right there, put it right up there. Just get a little on your edge of your knife. Maybe there's a little fence here. So you don't fall in the water when you walk by. <laughs> comes down here. Comes, comes off. There. Might as well put one on both sides. Eh, we'll just put one on the sides or the... Okay. There. There. One there. Come across. And this is just made up. I wasn't going to do that, but I thought it looked kind of good. Go there. Like a little thing there, one here. That way when you're walking over there, you don't bite it and fall in the water. There. So you can get a good roll of paint and just there. pull it flat, cut across. It helps if you load it the knife right, makes it better. Oh, there, okay. So here you got a little edge there so you don't go falling in. Can you see that? So what we'll do is we'll grab some of the light color right here and we'll come in and put a little white highlight on it. Just touch. Get some light in there. A little white. Make it a little lighter. A little roll of paint right there. Just touch. Touch. It's very... A lot of paint on there. Touch. Touch. There. Pull up. There. 
There's Yahtzee. So there, you got a little bit. And then what you can do is you can take some more of that white and you can come up here and just go a little bit on the top. Pull them over. So they stand out. You can make it really white if you want right there. There. You can kind of see the tops of those. For this one. There, so you got a little fence there. I'm going to not forget the poles, right? A little bit there and just come in and touch. And this just trying to make them stand out a little bit, right? It's hard to get this paint's not. Oh, there. There. So you kind of got a little more highlight there. A little more on this other one here. Right? There. Oh, good. There. See? There. It gives a little highlight so you can see it. Does it stand out? No, it's not too bad. Good. All right. Then I want to take and get a little more, maybe a little more black over here. I'll put it in with my crimson and blue. I'm going to darken some stuff up here. Take the black. Okay. Some of that green right here that I was using. There. A little brown in there. I want to darken this area just a little. There's some in there. Just add a little. See? Kind of. You want to darken that tree. There. Give it a little more. There. I'm just trying to give it a little the tree a little more so you can see it better. And then a little, I like that little dark around the water right there. See? Okay. Little areas in there. I know there's a tree over here, so you might have a little dark behind it. There. Something like that. There we go. Kind of gives it you a little more. I like that. And then in here, God, there's just something right here. I want to break that up a little more. There we go. Break that up just a little right in the front there. Then you can kind of see some more little highlights and stuff going on in there. I like that. I think that looks good. 47 minutes. What do you think? Should we sign it and call her good? I think we've got a good tree in there. It's looking good. I think we can do a little dark here and there. I don't want to ruin my trees, but I think we can add a little more dark in the base here. Okay, right here, I want it a little darker. It's in shadow, right? A little more right in here. See that? Come in and darken some areas on the trees a little more. There, push them up. You can use this brush and go like this too, if you want. So those get a little, little good. Okay. All right. Well, you got a cabin. You've got some water. You've got some sun. You've or some some highlights there and I think we are going to turn out good today let's see where's my brush of mine I'm gonna sign it with vermilion since I have some and it's time to get going I got that vermilion and it will stand out really good if I can get it thin enough okay watch this L just put my initials L P Roll it out, pull it tight. P, R, there. How's that look? Let's get a little more. I think it's always get a little bit right here. Okay. Well, hopefully this <laughs> this isn't repetitive, but it uh, turned out pretty good, and I hope you guys liked it, and I appreciate you watching, and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.